It's the Rock Man back at it again. This will be my fourth bench press workout since St. Louis went into full lockdown and isolation is starting to mess with my mind. Some interesting things have been happening to me that I got to talk about. So uh, that's why I'm starting off with my fifth set from last week's volume training. I was thinking about using this week, this weight for this week's volume training, but it was not to be. I knew it was ambitious anyway. Uh, that the smarter move was to go with smaller jumps, uh, which is what ended up happening. But on Sunday night, when I originally tried to do this workout, I felt a pull in my right pec, and I had to abort the workout. So any of you guys who have been lifting for long enough will be able to identify with this story. I had a hype dream, a lifting hype dream, where I could feel my closer grip bench press was the solution for the problem. And I, in this dream, I could feel my tricep activation dominating my bench press and being the uh, full driving factor in it. And I woke up from this hype dream and I went downstairs and I started training uh, in my jock because I could still feel my triceps activation, you know? And my pec was hurting like... It was tender to the touch still, but for whatever reason, I was able to uh, get through all five sets of this at my target weight and do a sixth set with the uh, five kilo white plate on there as well. I failed at, well, I was able to grind out eight, but uh, there's no way in hell I could have got nine. So I'm not really sure why I threw that set in there. I just, <laughs> but I have found my uh, limit now with this tighter grip and it was almost a, almost an inch. My pinky was almost an inch inside the ring. So I got a lot of activation out of it and I'm going to definitely be doing a lot more volume with my closer grip for sure. This is another exercise. I'm, I'm trying to dial in. Um, this workout was Tuesday. Bench was Monday, international chest day. I uh, split my rows up onto Tuesday. I did two sets at that weight, but you can see it should have been a set of eight. Uh, on that second set for sure. And I'm really trying to limit the amount of upper back, like high tra the traps and stuff that I'm using. And I would really like to focus more on mid back with this movement right now um, because of some nerve issues. And every time I feel myself going heavier, it's really hard not to engage more of your traps, you know? So I really want to dial in on weight that I can keep super strict and then work a progression based on that. Even these, which are pretty good, and this isn't considerably lighter. So I know that I'm, I'm dialing in on that weight that I need to be at for these rows. Uh, maybe I'll go a little bit lighter next workout and see how that, see how that treats me. Get the green and some change on there, you know. And today I was brave enough to do deadlifts. It's been the first time in a while. Um couple of weeks, I've been doing a lot of uh, hip, hip work and single leg stuff. That was my last warm up and my hips were soft as fuck. I did not lock that shit out. Well, I soft locked it and that was my last warm up, 220. It didn't feel heavy though, so I decided to get my work done on my heavy shit just with triples. Uh, I was going to try just one triple and see how that felt. If they slowed down at all, I was going to kill it, right? The second one of this set was my snappiest of the workout. You'll see when it hits the ground here. What was that? Why did the bar roll so much over dropping it straight on the ground? That was weird. But I was able to recover my position and pull another one with all the speed. Awesome, right? Let's do that again. I threw the chromes on it. Here on this first rep, pretty well. Boom! And I I fucking almost snapped my shit up right there. I tell you what. Uh, and it was hard to recover from that. Damn, it's rolling all over the motherfucking place. Well, I know the floor doesn't have anything on it. But it doesn't really hit me until I drop the bar on this third rep, what's actually going on. Look how soft that is. 
Caught it like a fucking pillow. Look how much is sinking into the ground. Oh, shit. So it probably started cracking the floor on the second rep of my last set. But this first rep of the last set finished it off and busted a big ass hole in the concrete because it's just a, uh, it's not a poured foundation. They just poured concrete on top of an old Michigan, you know, dirt floor basement. So there's a little pocket underneath the concrete and boom, I just busted right through it <laughs> and I busted my leg too. <laughs> So, if you guys are making your home gym, I know it seems like a pain to lay down the plywood. Especially if you're not doing it on a level surface. But, it could save you a couple hours mixing concrete. And, it does seem to dampen the blow a little bit. So, hope you guys are training strong. And as always, thanks for watching.